Our top focus at this hour, amid a raging war between Russia and Ukraine, the European Union is now turning towards Israel for its natural gas supply needs. As the bloc claims that it has been blackmailed by Moscow for its gas supplies after siding with Kiev. The European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen is in Jerusalem to strengthen Union's energy cooperation with Israel as Russia has cut down energy supplies to several European nations amid heavy sanctions imposed by the EU to curb Moscow's Ukrainian invasion. The bloc has been looking for alternative suppliers to reduce its dependence on Russia, which in turn would help them in imposing stricter sanctions on Moscow. The European Union was the biggest, most important client from the supplier Russia, oil, gas and coal. But with the beginning of this war and the attempt of Russia to blackmail us through energy by deliberately cutting the energy supplies, we decided to cut off and to get rid of the dependency of Russian fossil fuels. and to move away from Russia and diversify to trustworthy suppliers. So um, it is for us very important and I'm very grateful that we are now discussing this fascinating project that you are willing to increase the deliveries of gas to the European Union via Egypt. And tomorrow we will already take a very important step with the signing of a trilateral a memorandum of understanding between Israel the European Union and Egypt. Russia has already cut its supplies to Poland, Bulgaria, Finland, Dutch and Danish companies, citing payment issues as Kremlin demanded bill payments in rubles after EU sanctions on it. Russia's energy giant Gazprom on Tuesday said that it would be reducing the daily gas deliveries via the Nord Stream pipeline to Germany, that by more than 40% due to their repair of compressor units by German company. Last year, the bloc imported roughly 40% of its gas from Russia. The EU is now eyeing Israel as a major natural gas supplier. Israel has two major gas fields off its coast. Jerusalem is estimated to have gas reserves of at least 1 trillion cubic meters, while the country's domestic use over the next three decades is not expected to go beyond $300 billion. With the ongoing and devastating war in Ukraine comes vast global implications and it's uh, time for the international community to work together. Uh, we, even in our region, we're seeing a, a potential for great famine and uh, distress that, that can, uh, can have the profound implications for the stability and, and the uh, welfare of people which is why today um, both of us will be discussing ways where the EU and Israel can cooperate on food security, energy and more. Israel exports gas to Egypt. Some of this gas is then liquefied and shipped to Europe. A significant increase in gas exports would require major long-term infrastructure investments. Israel says that the talks are on since March for establishing legal framework to enable more Israeli gas exports to Europe via Egypt. Israeli energy minister has traveled to Egypt for signing a memorandum of understanding for the same. Another option would be the esteemed project, a proposal for a seafloor pipeline linking Israel to Greece and Italy via Cyprus. The pipeline would carry gas from new offshore deposits in the southeastern Mediterranean to continental Europe. Now, in the year 2020, Greece, Israel and Cyprus signed a deal to build an undersea pipeline. The sea pipeline, with a rough budget of around $6 billion, is, ex is expected to meet about 10% of the European Union's natural gas demand. But this tall project is struggling with political and logistical complexities. Earlier this year, the European Union also earmarked $736 million for the construction of a 2,000 megawatt undersea electricity cable that would link the power grids of Israel, Cyprus and Greece.